What's up everyone, it's Tibsy. So I haven't uploaded a Call of Duty episode or video in I guess like three weeks, but now that the holidays are over and everything, I can finally get back in my schedule. So if you didn't watch my last video, or if you did, I just want to say I hope you had a great holiday. I know for a fact I did. Um, it was just great having a break from YouTube and everything else. Um, it was awesome, I got lots of gifts and stuff, and then I also spend a lot of time with my family and friends but uh... i guess i'll go over that more on monday during my tipsy talks and well um... i sort of have a story to share for you all today i haven't told it in a while so bear with me if it's quite lame but the other day my friends and i we all went to our local mcdonald's food's cheap and it's the only place where everyone from my town goes i don't really know if that's a good or bad thing since the town i live in is kind of filled with a bunch of tools but i digress let's move on with the story so we walk in and everything's going well. I mean, besides my order is taking ages and I'm just sitting alone at the counter with a bunch of hard asses behind me, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. So finally, I get my order, which honestly wasn't even a difficult order. It was just a burger. It was actually a bacon Angus burger, whatever, bacon and cheese, delicious. So I sat down with my mates. Yes, mates, I have mates. So we're eating, minding our own business, having a good time, and then this kid walks in. I'm just gonna call him Captain Hardass. Why? Just wait, you'll see. So for some odd reason, he decided I'm gonna sit down right there, which was right next to us. Now it's weird because there are a ton of other seats to choose from, but he really enjoyed that particular one. And I mean, it's kinda odd because there's a, just a bunch of ones, like, you've been to McDonald's, you know how it goes, there's a bunch of seats there. No, I'm gonna sit right there. It wasn't even packed either. So to top it all off, he decides I'm gonna whip out my phone and blast this music, and I don't even care what you guys think. And he was like sprawled out all over the booth. Like he was just screaming, I'm a hard ass. And honestly, if you're not saying to yourself, this kid's a complete hard ass, you're a hard ass, okay? A lot of hard assing going on right now. So he's blasting his music and we're just laughing at this kid. Like who honestly does he think he is? Does he really think that his shit doesn't stink? And a couple minutes later, one of my friends, Matt, decided, let's sing along with the songs he's playing. So everyone's hooting and hollering to the songs that this kid's, you know playing off his phone and but no uh, uh this kid's not gonna have any of that he's like no no one's gonna sing along to these songs so he decides i'm gonna play a different song that no one knows wrong go we still know that song so we're still singing along having a good old time and you know what he's like not gonna do this not dealing with this nope so he stands up walks away and you know what that's a victory in my book but this kid isn't done He's just going to pace around the entire McDonald's, you know, going through, like, boots, hallways, all that good stuff. So, I, honestly, though, if I was a betting man, I'm going to say he was on drugs. But I'm not a betting man. But whatever. Let's go on. So we're just chatting, continuing our little fun, and a girl walks in to talk with a friend of mine. Now, I have to make it known it's a girl because of what happens next. So we're chatting, and then Captain Hardass, remember him from earlier? He's back with vengeance. And said this time... He's with a little friend, we'll just call him Ass Clown. Mainly because if I call him like Keen or Queen Hard Ass, there's gonna be too many hard asses. But don't get me wrong, he's a, he's a hard ass, okay? So Captain Hard Ass and Ass Clown decide it's a good idea to come out of the woodworks and make a move on this girl. Captain Hard Ass makes a stupid comment like, Does anyone wanna share some musical interests? No, you douchebag, go home. So he sits down on a chair next to where she's standing and just making a fool out of himself, making stupid comments left and right and motioning for her to come sit down on his lap. Well, she wasn't having any of that, so she left. She gone. Flew the coop. Not really surprised. So you'd think this kid's striking out left and right. What possibly can he do now? You'd be surprised. He decided to stay where we were sitting and hard ass some more. And so he moved to the chair next to me, or the booth I should say. Great, now I have to deal with him. So he just starts making comments and such, and then he begins to rap. Honestly, you'd think he'd just go home. Nope, he's just gonna start rapping. And how he sees himself in the moon and stuff. And immediately, we all get the impression that he's high. Because earlier, he came in really lackluster, not really trying to bother anyone, even though he did. Then he started pacing, and now he's full on hard ass mode. So he's rapping, and then he makes a comment. Is there something higher than full on hard ass mode? Because he achieved it. He said, If you don't like me, we could take it outside. I'll whip out my sniper and poke in the eye. 
All right, calm down there, Dr. Seuss. Let's shout it out a little bit. Don't get ahead of yourself. And Matt, you know how I said Matt earlier, you know, Matt, really didn't like that comment. Now, to be honest with you, if there was anything going to be physical about this conflict, I would not be able to really help. Like I said in my friendly neighborhood Tibsy story, I'm a bit on the heavy side of life, and I'm short, not really going to be doing the amount of damage needed to help. But hey, YOLO. What did I hear the other day? Yolt? What the hell's Yolt? You only live twice? Whatever. So Matt sat there looking angry as hell, and my friend Kevin, you may remember him from my Slender video I did with him a while back, is simply just trying to make it less awkward by conversing with Captain Hardass. And I guess we'll mention my friend Bobby. Bobby, well, I don't know really what he was doing. I think he was like editing a photo on his phone possibly. I don't really remember. Maybe he was sexting, which don't do that. Sexting's bad. So after that long, awkward period of nonsense, Matt gets up and we all get up. It was like telepathically, Matt said, let's go. Or like we were in a gang and Matt was the leader, but let's be real, I'm the leader. So we all get go to like the soft drink machine and talk about what the hell we just witnessed for the last 30 minutes. And we all decided it was a good idea to leave. So as we're leaving, Captain Hardass and his crew of, of one, Ass Clown, told us, So long, boys! And had a good old laugh. But Matt, nah, -uh, shawty don't play like that. Matt said, y'all could go yourselves. I know, it was intense. I had to catch my breath. Wasn't expecting that either. I mean, maybe Matt went a little hard in the paint and could be considered for first age of hard assism, but whatever. It needed to be said. So all in all, children, or ladies, gentlemen, whatever you want to say, I apologize if I was mean or rude in that comment, don't be a public nuisance and don't do drugs. You'll end up like a low-life skull that that kid was. Oh, and don't sex. That was really weird, Bobby. I appreciate you guys checking out today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment down below. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Become a Tibsinator today. I'll be uploading an episode of Tibsy Talks on Monday, so be sure to come back for that. And that's about it, everyone. Have a grand day.